Hi there, my name is Colin. I'm the founder of Uninja. In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest possible way to get a funnel set up on Thinkific. When I started teaching on Thinkific five years ago, funnels were an enigma to me. I had no idea how they worked. They were so complicated. You had to get Zapier, you had to get MailChimp, you had to bring all these pieces of software together, which is not only really expensive, it was super complex, and I got lost. And that's why I developed Uninja Funnels. Woodninja Funnels was designed from the ground up to be the simplest way to send an email when something happens on your Thinkific site. So for example, when a user signs up, when they complete a course, uh, or you just want to send them an ebook as soon as they buy your course. That is what Woodninja Funnels is for, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here today. To get set up, it only takes one minute. Head over to the Thinkific App Store, search for Woodninja Funnels, or click the link in the uh, description below, and that'll bring you directly to the sign-up flow. This will bring you to the dashboard, and we're going to open up our funnel editor. This is my personal site, so I'm going to show you all the secrets right here, right now. This is what I've been using for years. Um, I already have set up my sign-up funnel. If you ever want to edit a funnel, just click Edit. But for the purpose of the video, let's go ahead and create a brand new one so I can bring you right the way to the process. So we click Add Funnel here. There's a couple of things we've got to do to get started. First of all, we're going to have to give our funnel a name. I always recommend using names that are really uh, intuitive. So if you're opening this later on, you know, a few months later, we've all been there. We forget what we set up. Let's just give it a name that we know exactly what's going to happen. So let's call it the ebook funnel. And it's going to be when someone signs up. And then we'll give the name of the course. Let's call it the master class, because that's the class I'm currently teaching. And uh, let's go ahead and enable it just here at the start so we don't forget. But you can always turn off the funnel, just toggle that right off. We're going to enable resends. Now, resends is one of the features I really love in this program. Um, I built it for myself. What happens is you have two, generally two options when you're sending a, a user an email. You want them to be able to download something over and over again. So for example, they forget the email, they want to be able to uh, request a new one, they can do that if resends are turned on. However, sometimes you just want to send something once. You just want to send an ebook as soon as someone signs up and then you got to download it within 24 hours to capture that value and to make sure they're not sharing it onward and onward, okay? So let's turn it off for now because this particular ebook, I only want the mail to download it once. The next is the trigger and we're going to be doing it when the user enrolls in a paid course and it's going to be for my masterclass. As you can see here, we have a number of other options. I won't go through them here in this video, but for example, if a user signs up, when they get a free trial, when they purchase a particular course of bundle, the options really are endless and you can also choose any course you want. Again, this completely removes the need for Zapier or any sort of automation tools. It all happens right here in one piece of software. Let's go ahead and click Save. Below this, we can then set up our email. I've included a template I've been using for years and I've had huge success with, uh, but you can fill it out as you wish. So for example here, I always say you be personal. So we put in the first name, we're gonna say the download is ready, nice exclamation mark, really go you know, drive home, you really going to check this out and you're going to love it. We're going to say, welcome to the course. I'm going to change it to my name. So that's my run hybrid school, which I've been operating for about five years now on Thinkific. Um, and we're going to say, we're going to be including my interview guide and questions. And last, I'm going to sign it off with my particular name. And there you go. I've written an email in just under 30 seconds, uh, which has converted time and time again for me. Once again, I click save. Also like to draw your attention to, you can also test and preview. So if you want to send a test yourself, you can do so. They'll send you an email so you can see exactly what's going to look like for that end user. And below that, we're going to put in our uploads. Let's drag and drop in the file. We're going to call it the interview guide. Click upload. And now we're ready to go. Uh, this funnel is set up. We're three minutes and 40 seconds into this video, and we've got a funnel set up in Zapier or MailChimp, this could potentially take you hours to get set up. So again, under five minutes, um, everything looks good. Let's just double check our settings. And below here, there's also a log which will tell you when an email is sent, when an email is delivered, so you know who's getting your emails and what those students are doing with that particular information. If you ever need to add a new file, just simply upload it. If you ever need to upload a new one, you can delete it and already download what's already saved there as well. That is, that is a whistle stop tour of Woodinja Funnels. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the ride. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out the documentation here at the top menu or chat to me using the bubble here in the bottom right hand corner. But in the meantime, I want to wish you the very best with your course endeavors. Please let me know if you have any feedback. Take care. Talk soon.